condition. Okay, well, some of the questions that have come on the thread and, and in my comments before were about, well, if, if young people uh, have better health outcomes when they get this, um, can you talk for a minute about why is it so important that they take this seriously too? Uh, and, and, and how should they act to make sure that they can keep their families and, and the people that they love safe? Well, Mark, that's the prevailing question and it's a great question that's a logical question that people ask. The fact is that even though young people will unlikely as a group, with some exception, but as a group, will not get seriously ill from this, they will and can and will get infected. And what happens, even though they may be minimal symptoms or no symptoms at all, they become the vector to infecting those people who are vulnerable, who can get in trouble. So it really is one of those things, Mark, where we're all in it together. Even though individuals who are young feel that they're somewhat invulnerable, I certainly felt that way when I was very young, you may be invulnerable to serious things. No one is invulnerable completely, but it's less likely that you'll get seriously ill, but you have a responsibility, not only to yourself, but to society in general, particularly the vulnerable people. Yeah, so some other questions that, that we're getting in the comments are, and there are questions from people who, uh, one person, Joseph, says, we live in Florida, um, and there are some people here who believe that hot, humid weather uh, will kill the virus, so you know, with the implication that it might not affect them and they may not need to take some of this guidance in, serious, uh, this guidance in, in order seriously. Um, you know, what's, the, the, what's the latest uh, scientific thinking on that, and how should people who have that question uh, respond? Oh, okay, it's a good question. I'll try to make it as succinct as possible. Putting coronavirus aside, in general, respiratory illnesses such as influenza and the relatively benign common cold viruses tend to do very well in cold, dry weather, and when warm, moist weather comes, People go outside, they're not congregated indoors, and viruses generally like cold, dry weather versus warm, moist weather. That is a fact, but we have no idea, since this is a brand new virus, whether this virus is going to follow that paradigm, and whether or not when it gets warm in the northern hemisphere, I live in Washington, it's, you know, we're just at the end of our winter and the beginning of spring, we cannot absolutely expect it's going to go down, although most of the time with other viruses, it does. So when someone in California says, you know, in general, viruses don't do very well, the fact is you've really got to be careful because you're dealing with a unique virus whose characteristics and behavior are unclear to us right now. 